glad that you are here with me today. So guys, today is February the 2nd, 2024, and there's some things that you need to do Are you filing your taxes at this time. Now, if you have not done this, you still have time to do it. Um, you should have already have sent out a 1099 NEC for all of the subcontractors or contractors that you had working at your job or working for your company. This is very important. You should have sent that out already. If not, you need to try to get it out there ASAP. Next thing you need to make sure that you have already filed your annual report. And this is for entrepreneurs that have an LLC or a partnership. You need to fill out your annual report, okay? I think you have till May 1st, 2024 to actually fill out this information. You need to get it to the um, IRS ASAP. Lastly, not lastly, I'm going to not say lastly because there's some other things that you should have done already. Okay, so you did not fill out a, a 1065, then you should have filled out a 1065 for your income. If you are a partnership or a LLC and you have members within your corporation, you should have filled out a 1065 with a case schedule. Each individual partner member, it matches up with a 1065. That should go to IRS, okay? Now, if you are currently getting ready to file your taxes, do so. Just make sure <clears throat> that you have actually did all these things beforehand. not done your quarterly taxes which is basically goes to the department of revenue okay the, the department of revenue you should have already filed your quarterly taxes for each quarter you should have filled out a dr15 which is very important i have already told you about this in my other video so if you have not done it you can still do this as we speak, okay, you will be penalized because they do penalize you for not filing on time, okay? If you have redeployment, redeployment, you need to fill that information out. That's for each period. That is, if in fact you have any type of income, if you have any type of employees with an income, then you need to file that out. All right, guys, so... We have covered everything that I think that you have done. Now, just to let you know that we are now preparing for April 2024 when our business reopened. Um, all the information, all the things that we had at the end of the year, which is our inventory, um, all the things that we did not need as far as maybe it was silk flowers or Items that we did not use at the end of the year of 2023, we're now going to return those items if it looks like we're not going to use them next year so we can get our refund. Other than that, um, I'm going to show you how we actually label our inventory and actually store it. Okay, Storage is very important when it comes down to event planning business or a catering business. Okay? to my channel then it's time for you to do that okay so please subscribe to this channel I would like for you to like um, share and if you're going to comment like I always say be nice it's always good to be nice hopefully you like this video and I hope this video has helped someone that do not know what to do at the end of the year when they're actually getting ready to file their taxes okay guys good luck with your taxes and Good luck with everything going on this year. So one of the things that I start doing when I am trying to pack up to for the season, okay, is to do my inventory of all of my florals. So with my um, silk florals, um, my inventory is very important. So I'm real simple, real simple. So I actually get these um, labels 
that I can get. You can get these from Amazon. They're like those. They kind of you get you get two on both sides. You get one side that you print your receipt. The other side is what you actually put on your your item that you're going to send out to your customer. In the store, I actually buy labels for me to put on my my boxes okay to mail out so with these same labels i use these same labels because i get a bulk of them uh these same labels i use to actually label my inventory okay so i have a lot of baby breath left over silk baby breath left over that i had ordered in bulk and so i, I have already get my count um earlier today so i'm just going to put them away so I have a crate that I picked up from Walmart, Target, whatever, um, big lots. Next we have my storage, and this is my greenery. I have already counted these. Uh, um, let me make sure I count them two things. Um, okay, so I actually, I actually have eight of these, and I'm going to put them in here in a crate as well because I'm getting ready to do that too. Okay guys, so this one is a little different because there's eight count here and um, <clears throat> when it comes to greenery, it's different because uh, you have so many different designs of greenery. Ivory. So this is ivory foliage and as you can see, I always have that that white tip around it so this is like that greenery um, that you want to always keep when you're actually um, doing projects okay so this is um, as I call ivy so I'm going to put it as such now I had a count of eight and you want to make sure that you put it on the front and back just in case someone picks up this crate you need to know exactly what's in this crate Okay, so as you can see, I'm using both sides, okay? And I'm going to put the labels on here for my husband so that he knows exactly what's in these crates. Okay guys, we're moving on to my chargers. And as you can see, these are my gold chargers and I have them in a charger case. You can actually find these cases on amazon.com. I have at least 25 in each case. I'm going to store them inside the house so they can be close to me in case I have an event and then I need to pull them. Just take the cases with me and I have more than this so the other case the other cases are in the garage and if I need more I just go in the garage and get some more okay all right guys let's move on to the system okay guys so this is the flex mount overhead garage storage system you can find this on amazon as well and this is not that system where you have to buy the actual same crates i think they're yellow and black crates that you have to slide them onto this system um, but this is different you can keep the crates that you have or you can purchase some more they don't have to be matching crates and as you can see, um, I have my fall decor in this area. My husband really wants me to label everything so that he can locate it when I need it. And just to let you know that having storage inside your home is very important. You don't want to go out and get a storage garage or storage uh, space and pay monthly for storage when you can 
go in your garage or somewhere in your house and store your supplies. Okay, so we're moving on to steaming now. So anyone that have a business, a catering business or event planning business, you know, you have uniforms, you can send them to the cleaners, but if they have polyester blend, then you can pretty much wash them and steam them yourself. Okay, so here's a little trick. Do not go above this line so that the water won't spill on everything. Okay guys, so I stored the uniforms in the garage in my overhead system. So when I, we open up my business, I can go there and get them out, okay? So guys, this is the end of this video and I hope you learned something today. So good luck with your taxes, your inventory, and your storage. And thank you for coming to my channel.